Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from Lowney's Cookbook of 1908, we're going to be making the nasturtium sandwich. Unlike other nasturtium sandwiches of old, we're going to spread mayonnaise onto thinly sliced bread. Now onto that, we put nasturtium flower petals. Okay, let's give this nasturtium sandwich a go. Ever so slightly peppery, like the plant, but not nearly as peppery as the leaves. Very beautiful. <laughs> Definitely a tea sandwich. I do think we can plus it up a little. I'm gonna take a cue from Turkey and the Wolves to the tomato and add some sunflower seeds and a drop or two of lemon juice. Okay, let's give this nasturtium sandwich plussed up with a little uh, lemon juice and sunflower seeds. A go. I like that. Sunflower seeds obviously are bringing kind of a nuttiness and a crunch. And the lemon juice is bringing a nice little brightness that's playing off of the nasturtium and the mayonnaise. So the original nasturtium sandwich, clearly a tea sandwich, very dainty, very light, uh, quite lovely to look at. Um, I would probably give that a six flavor wise. It was okay, it wasn't great. Uh, plussed up with a little lemon juice and sunflower seeds. Probably six and a half, seven as a, as the sandwich goes. It had a little more texture, a little bit of acidity. It started to play off the, the slight pepperiness of the flowers and the floral nature of the flowers. And of course, the richness of the mayonnaise. Uh, I'm definitely gonna finish that. I don't know that I'll make that again because I had to wait a long time for our nasturtium plants to have enough flowers to make this one. So, all right, see you tomorrow. Oh.